I have been so obsessed with golf. Not at a course yet, you know, that feeling when you find something new and you're very excited about it. I love this feeling and this is the kind of vibe that I like to be on while I'm recording because it's positive and I hope to spread the love. Previously, all I knew about golf was that the outfits were really cute, like in preppy, which I love, that's my favorite style, and that it's this huge area that you have to hit this tiny ball and get places. I just feel like there's been so much going on in the world. I've done commentary on a lot of current events. One of my de-stressing activities is to watch things from my childhood and I was watching High School Musical 2 which is fun to do in the summer because it takes place in the summer. Sharpay's family owns a country club so they had golf tied into the storyline and I love Ashley Tisdale. I purchased this bag because Ashley Tisdale owns it. I love 2000s style. Sharpay wears this really cute outfit and she goes and golfs and it just looks really fun. That's what got me into it. I couldn't find that Juicy Couture bathing suit coat cover that she wears, but I did find something similar on Poshmark, so I purchased it. I booked a lesson at a driving range. I could not hit the ball. I was so bad at it, but I had a dress. I purchased golf shoes, a golf glove, and I was not ready to give it up yet. I'm not athletic. I wanted to give it another chance, and I'm so glad that I did. A lot of people who are into golf love golf. It just seems like a really great community. I went again. First of all, I think that I was captive because of how much effort you have to put in mentally, you know, like you can tune out the entire world and just focus on the ball because it does take a lot to be able to hit it, let alone in the direction you like. So I just like activities that kind of take you away and just let you be hyper-focused on something productive. I like mentally stimulating activities, but I think that my favorite part is the physical. You have to be so in tune with your body. You just have to be so aware of it. A lot of times in life or a lot of people in life just treat their bodies like they're just these blobs of flesh and bones, you know? But it's so important to understand and and appreciate everything that you have when you're hitting the ball. You have to be so focused on where your legs are, and your knees are bending, your right arm, your left arm, your fingers, you know, everything, your posture, even your breathing. So you just have to really take ownership of your body and that so affects what happens. I like things with no excuses. You can't whine your way out of it. You have to put in the effort. I love learning. I think it's really important to have some kind of physical activity as a hobby. I am so thankful that I started posting on my Instagram as soon as I started. Basically everything after my very first lesson because I love to watch and see my improvements. I've been doing this now for about two weeks and I've improved so much already. It's already had its ups and downs. I think that when you get a new hobby, especially maybe something physical, it's so enticing but then as soon as you start to plateau, a lot of people lose steam. Golf, I can see being invested in this for a long time. I allowed myself to look like a fool on Instagram because I just wanted the opportunity to grow. I didn't want to wait until I was good enough because how do you measure that? If you wait until you're perfect at something before you share it or document it to yourself, that might never happen, you know? I'm never going to be pro level at golf. I'm never going to be perfect, but I'm having so much fun. Every single improvement that I do, no matter how small it is, I just really like it because it's all intentional. My elbow, my back swing, and I just really like getting out there. The clothes obviously are super fun, but looks are not everything for this sport. I used to only do sunbeds for tanning. I would not like to go outside because I just could not stand tan lines. I've got crazy tan lines now and I don't mind. Like I think I look a little sunny right now actually. Maybe in general it's a more male dominated sport. It's not something that I want to like conquer and be the best at. I just really enjoy doing it. I like the clothes. I like looking very feminine in doing so. I'm not trying to hit the ball as far as the guys out there. Yesterday I went twice. That's how into it I am. I did like a three digit carry a couple times. Some people do that all the time and it's nothing but I'm celebrating it because that's a big deal for me. Things to celebrate because you're earning them are very important. They're so good for your self-esteem, for your mental health, and just getting out there and doing something physical is great too. I like golf. 
do you like golf? Do you golf? Uh, do you have any tips <laughs> for a beginner? I'm really busty, so I thought that that would put a damper in my swing. I kind of like watching like hot Instagram girls because I like to see their arm placement for their swing when they also are busty. My Instagram search history makes me look like a pervert <laughs> because I'm looking up like whatever chesty golf girl that I can find, but it has actually been pretty helpful. I was tucking in my elbow, my left elbow, a lot. Then when I did my back swing and extended my elbow, as I came down, it was way lower than what I set up. So I'd freak out and pull up and hit the top of the ball and it hurts my shoulder. But I'm now aware of that and I don't do that anymore. When I do a solid hit correctly, I'm getting about 80 to 100 yards carry. I'm just really excited about it. I love this feeling, so I wish for it for you too. It's so great to have something that you're excited about. It's so great, that feeling of achievement that you earn. I don't like gifts, I don't like handouts. I like to put in work and I like to earn it myself. And I wish that for you too because it feels way better than ever receiving a gift. I see guys out there all the time only hitting 170 yards. They hit and they're frustrated and I'm like, that's amazing. It's great to always raise your bar, you know, and to not settle. It's okay to celebrate yourself too. I'm just excited about all of the positivity that this has added to my life. I have a great time with it. I don't know how many yards I'll be able to carry. Um, maybe one day I'll start going to golf courses, but who knows what's in store. I'm really excited to find out. Also, I'm just in a really good mood right now too because it is Labor Day weekend and pumpkin spice lattes are out. I don't usually get Starbucks, but pumpkin spice lattes, I do. Do. That's what I've been doing all weekend is just grabbing a soy pumpkin spice latte, going to the range and just hitting a bucket of balls. It has been so fun. I love it. I do like having this kind of content on my channel. I have been flooding my Instagram account with just golf content. Otherwise, Instagram is so boring. Without like a task or like a theme for your content, it's kind of like, what do I do? Just like stand there. I love the hobbies. I love the fact that they're documented. Um, I do enjoy the gun range as well as the driving range. Maybe I just like having targets. Jordan Peterson was on Theo Vaughn's podcast and they were talking about being goal-oriented and targets and all that. That symbolism is not lost on me during this activity. Create some routine for your life. Give yourself the opportunity to achieve great things no matter the size of the achievement. Give yourself something to celebrate. So that's how I feel about golf. Yeah, so that is this video. I am off to the range now. I have other videos on my channel, lots of golf content on my Instagram. You can see my little swing. If you wanna stick with me through this and see where it goes, let me know if this is something you enjoy doing as well. I'd love to hear your stories. And yeah, feel free to tune into any other video of mine. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> I hit it and I forgot to hit record. <laughs>